we're entering the final phase of the case to overturn Prop 8. A judge finds DOMA to be unconstitutional for the third time in as many weeks. Good polling from battleground states and Denmark goes from voting on marriage equality to enacting marriage equality in the span of about a week. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum and welcome to Marriage News Watch for June 11, 2012. A ruling from the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals means that the case against Proposition 8 is about to enter its final phase. The case will not be reheard by the appellate court, which means that the proponents will likely petition to the United States Supreme Court. That's the last step in the road to overturning Prop 8, which has twice been ruled unconstitutional. From this point, there are only two ways the case can go. Either the Supreme Court will let the previous ruling stand, which means California will finally be rid of Prop 8, or they'll take the case and examine the overwhelming evidence that Prop 8 violates the United States Constitution. If that happens, AFER is confident that the justices will reach the same conclusion as the last two courts. Meanwhile, progress continues on over a dozen cases involving the Federal Defense of Marriage Act. For the third week in a row, a court has ruled against DOMA. In the most recent case, a district court judge in New York has found that DOMA does not fulfill a legitimate government interest. This follows a ruling last week in Boston and one the week before in California, both of which found that DOMA violate the United States Constitution. DOMA's still not gone yet. Its defenders are fewer in number than ever before, but they still haven't exhausted all of their opportunities for appeal. So for the time being, DOMA remains in effect. But public opinion on marriage equality is rapidly shifting. A new CNN survey is now the 13th national poll to show a majority of Americans support marriage equality, this time by a margin of 54 to 42 percent. Turning to the states, anti-gay activists in Washington have submitted signatures to force that state's new marriage equality law to a popular vote. Marriages would have started this summer in Washington, but now gay and lesbian couples will have to wait until November to find out whether or not they'll be allowed to get married. The most recent poll in Washington shows that 54 percent of voters would keep marriage equality, with just 33 voting to overturn the new law. And a series of polls across the country this week show encouraging progress. In Colorado, new numbers show that 73 percent of voters favor relationship recognition. That includes 42 percent who support marriage, 31 percent who support civil unions, and only 22 percent who uh, oppose recognition of any kind. In Minnesota, where voters will face a marriage referendum in November, 43 percent say that they would amend the state constitution to ban marriage equality, but they're now outnumbered by the 49 percent who oppose. That's a big improvement from February, when a survey showed that 47 percent wanted to amend the constitution and just 39 percent opposed the amendment. And in Missouri, 64% of voters favor some form of relationship recognition, with 33% favoring marriage and 31% for civil unions. Opposition to marriage has dropped seven points since September. Finally this week, marriage is coming to Denmark and coming very fast. The Danish parliament voted overwhelmingly in favor of marriage equality this week, and they're moving quickly to implement the new law. Marriages will start on Friday. You can visit AFER.org for more on the fight to overturn Prop 8 and win full federal marriage equality here in the U.S. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.